Here we are at another hiking trail. This one is called Dunder Rock. It's a really nice one. We've come here in the fall, but we've never come here in the spring before. And this is it. We're going to head out. The only reason we came today is because there's a threat of a storm and we figured there'd be no one on the trails. We don't like it when people are around. And it's windy, so we thought it might blow away the mosquitoes. So, here's our attempt. Got little flowers in bloom here. This is our first steep hill, heading down here. This is the Canadian Shield here, it's all granite. And Arnie had a little story about this from the Rhino Party. The Rhino Party is a group of people that were, that was formed uh, in voting, this is kind of a funny group. And uh, their platform was, uh, they were gonna remove the Canadian Shield that uh, northern Canada would have access to uh, access uh, to uh, southern Canada because the Canadian Shield kind of divides us in half. So they were going to remove all that, that we'd be in a good country all joined together, if you believe it or not. That's an interesting story, honey. You ever heard that for me? Nope. Here's a little, Arnie says it's a Howard Johnson for frogs. If I was a frog, that's what I did. One thing with all the rain we've been having, normally when we come up here, it's quite dry because of all the rock, but uh, everything is green and healthy looking. Nature loves the water. Even if farmers don't necessarily, we love the water, but after the crops are in. Okay, you can move, Arnie. <laughs> This is one of our favorite trails. We haven't been on it for two years because during COVID, this was wall to wall people. City people in the past never came here, but because there is nothing else to do, um, the crowds here, it was ridiculous. And when we go out on hikes, we want to enjoy nature and not listen to crowds of people. So. We stayed away and that's why we came today because there's a risk of thunderstorms and all that and we thought probably no one will be here and there were only uh, five cars here and it's a quite a big area so I figure we can have our privacy here. We're at the next rock outcropping. Still threatening to rain a little bit. We're hoping against all odds that we don't have to run for our lives here. The cemetery here. Oh, <laughs> yeah, and this is what people do. I see what he was talking about. It's not a cemetery. But it's people having fun. There's always in the cemetery, someone always has to put the biggest one up, see? Of course. You want to be that big one. It is. <laughs> These are, what are they called, the native rocks when they do that? Can't remember what they call them. He knew there was a bug in the tree, but he just didn't know where. <laughs> so he had a really good time trying to find out where the bug was. Unless that bug was moving around. Or there was a whole family or city of them. But that's why even the dead trees have a purpose.
This is the first of the little stops. Overlooking a beaver pond. It's a bog, honey. There's a beaver pond here. Remember, there's the little beaver lodge down there. I think the British call it a bog. Well, it has filled in a lot. It used to have more water. Hopefully, no one took out the beaver. See that red uh, arrow on that rock up there? Yeah. That's where we're going to end up. Yeah, we're ahead. The path goes around this pond and we'll end up at the top of that rock over there. And these little benches they have along this trail are all uh, memorial benches. Instead of being buried in a cemetery, people have put up uh, memorandums to oh, their that, loved ones that's kind of on creepy. the trails. This is a memory of Lynn and Arnie. Oh. I thought you were going to say something else now. No. <laughs> well, you're standing there. Look at how, how that branch goes right up like a barrier. It's actually alive too. Is it? Yeah. Oh yeah, it does have leaves on it. Are in blossom, oh, kind of are they? Yay! Where are they? Ooh, I, 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 if that was a beaver, I'd be a little concerned about that. I don't see as much uh, air hole in that beaver dam. I'm hoping they haven't destroyed them because it looks... The water's gone up, eh? I can see the yellow flowers just vaguely. Those are the yellow flowers on the lily pads. He's by those logs. Just there. Oh, I think he came out, didn't he? No, he's still there. He's working through some grabbing some material. Oh that lump there is the beaver. <laughs> When we were here two years ago, there were no wooden um, walkways. So they have been doing renovations in here.
because we're in the lowlands right now at the bottom of the forest by the ponds and stuff so it did get to get a little swampy in here but shortly we're going to be climbing This is one of our climbs to the top. We gotta climb up that cliff face there. We're not gonna do rock climbing. There is a little goat path up there. Ernie's heading his way up. And once I see him get around there, I'll head up. Quite steep going up there. Hurry up and go around the corner so I can see it. He leaves me down below getting eaten by mosquitoes. Ah. This is the next rock outcropping. So when we were looking, when we were on the bench and we're looking across the little beaver pond and there was a rock in the distance, a rock cliff. That's where we are now. And you can see way in the distance. That's the bench over there. And that's where the beaver was making his new lodge. Because Arnie thinks the water level is quite high down there and it could have flooded uh, the inside of his original lodge which could very well be true, and he's making another one. And uh, all those storm clouds seems to, seem to have blown away right now, and now it's going hot. <laughs> so I guess we made a good decision coming today, because there's nobody here. Good for the back. It's actually really good on the back. We have some water now. So, since I'm already laying on down, we're going to have a little water break. Okay, we're breaking out into the open again. We're getting close to the highlight of our journey. And we're getting closer and closer to our destination. I mean, there's a lot more after this, but this is the highlight up ahead. This is why people come up here. I think that's the wrong direction, Arnie. Oh, excuse me, that's east, Lynn, that's Quebec. Is that east? That's right. Where Are you there? sure about that? I feel like that's south. That's why you're not in the bush without me. I don't know. I don't trust your direction sense. Yeah, we're up above the canopy here.
we're on the top of the world looking down on creation and the only explanation I can see is the love that I found ever since you been around your love's put me at the top of the world it is like being at the top of the world up here it's awesome up here it's so windy right now that there isn't a single mosquito, deer fly, or anything. Yahoo! second that water you see in the distance is the Rideau Canal. It's a canal system that goes from Lake Ontario um, in Kingston and it heads all the way up through a series of locks um, all the way to Ottawa and the Parliament buildings. It was originally constructed because Kingston was at the time a couple hundred years ago, uh, the capital of Canada, and we were right at the border with the United States, and the fear was a war with the Americans. So we built a canal and brought our capital city up to Ottawa so that if the Americans invaded us, we'd have a series of locks and stuff uh, where we could uh, trap them, I guess. <laughs> And needless to say, it never happened because the Americans are our best friends. On a windy day, are you going to step out onto that rock? Actually, just stepping out makes you dizzy. It does, but today's windy. Are you going to take that risk? Now the drop here, we've had... Usually you get someone, if there's somebody else up here on the rock, you get a picture, someone to take a picture of you up here. And we do have our fair share of pictures on this rock. I've got a fear of heights. Ernie doesn't really, but it's scary, scary. Oh, for sure. I know. Yeah. I'm afraid to step and show that because it's going to make, make it, you dizzy, it's, it's going to make me dizzy to yeah, put the wind. yeah. I can lose the camera. I don't want that. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> we'll just say we're fearful of our camera. But actually, I'm feeling the wind blowing me right now. Yeah, it's pretty rough. I wouldn't, I wouldn't stand up there. We could, we could sit on that little rock there, that ledge, and have a bar. Tell them about the Rideau system? Yeah, I told them it was built uh, in fear of the Americans invading. Did you tell them it starts on Lake Ontario? Yeah, and it goes to Ottawa Parliament Buildings. I and said, oh. We're stopping for a little snack here. It's very windy, but we're on the edge of a rock and on the edge of a cliff. The wind has just died down a little bit, so now I can take the camera out. Before it was so windy. Um, you couldn't hear anything because of the roar of the wind. But that's a canopy of a forest <laughs> below us. That's how high up we are here. It's not bushes, it's actually Huge trees. Okay, if you look real carefully, right there, see? Mm -hmm. You can see the CD Tower. Arnie. Well, look at it. Everything I'm making that up. Don't talk. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little nervous of my camera blowing away. <laughs> that we're 
both up here because it never looks like we're together. It's so windy, it feels like it's going to blow you off the cliff. <laughs> and this place in the fall is fantastic. All hardwoods, eh? We got a boulder over here that's hanging over the trail, hanging over the cliff. About six feet, it's hard to, hard to see. Yeah, you can't tell from this angle, but it's about six feet hanging over like it's going to fall on someone. And we met a nice young couple who took our pictures up on the rock there. And we took some pictures of them. And hopefully they're going to say hello to us on YouTube. Well, so people can walk together. I think it, I think these pathways are nice that they built. So they get you over all the mucky areas. Some really, really big trees in here. You know you're getting old when a bench is such a welcome sight. Well, today's thunderstorm day turned into actually a gorgeous day out here. We did not get rained on. Yeah, it might be over there.
this is still part of the Rideau waterway. They used to have it so you could get in here, remember? Now they've got it sealed off. No. Another look out here. That looks like a little path down to the water. How did you get way up there? We're nearing the end of the trail. So, this is about where we were. It was the equivalent of climbing a 20-story building. That's not too bad. We did the summit loop, and parking lot to summit round trip was 3.75 kilometers. So not too long, but a nice little walk with really nice views. How come they say no camping? So we're getting in the U-Haul and that will be our hike for today.